Hey, everyone. Hey, I'm Sarah. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to the last episode of Half-Life. Yes, it is the last episode. So, before we do this, I'm going to play these for you. This is what the Nihilanth has been saying. Okay. I don't like you alone, not you alone. I don't like you? You are not alone. You are not alone? What is it supposed to mean? In the universe? Sure, yeah. Deceive you will deceive you. Deceive you? He does not say that we will deceive you, just that something will. So is this guy a bad guy? And there that's a little more complicated. Mm -hmm. But there is a strong trope of villains don't lie to you. Okay. And I love it, you know? Because why would a villain need to lie to you? A villain will be honest that he massacred all these people. But, like, if somebody wants you to stay on their side, then they'll be like, no, we didn't kill all those guys. I mean, that would still be a bad guy, right? A villain? Well, no, but sometimes they're your ally, you know? They're your commanding officer. So this guy's like a super villain. This guy's arguably a super villain. You all die. You all die. You all die. Done. What have you done? What have you done? The last you are. The last you are. You are man. He's not man. For you are man. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear what he said after that? No. He is not man. Who do you think? G-Man? Is G-Man an alien? It's for you. Now die. Now die. That's getting into his boss fight quotes. We don't need to worry about those as much. Um... But yeah, Why that's... is this villain telling you the truth? That's what villains do. Maybe he wants to, like... Maybe he's, like, trying to test to see if you're, like, truly, like, cool. So... There are some things about this that I'm not sure how they were written. Mm -hmm. They were... Let me turn this back down. This is way too loud. Because there are some things where I'm like, oh, sure, yeah. They plan to do a sequel. Red teleporter. So his name comes from nihilism and a kind of flower. And yeah, that's the final boss. Shit dog. Get him. Shit dog for real. Hmm. Big and ugly. Uh oh. These fucking shit ass aliens haven't invented bullets. Oh yeah, it's the crystals. Oh, he's creepy. Yeah. I'm gonna switch my position. So a lot of people hate this boss fight. Now why? I'm yeah. gonna see why. There you go. No. You have to platform all the way up. There's a lot of things not great in this boss fight. Now, luckily, there are some goodies in here. God, what's this phobia that triggers in people? What's it called? Fear of holes? Tryptophobia? Tryptophobia. I thought a lot of people discovered this fear. Yeah, honestly. Um, you know how some, like, toads and stuff, they have little baby holes on the back of their bodies? No. Yeah, some toads, like, their babies are um, inside of the little holes in their back. Oh. Have you seen it? No, we should look it up afterwards. I mean, we can look it up now. It's pretty important. Damn. Oh, well. What were we trying to do? Uh, infinite ammo. Gotcha. Ooh, 
Ooh, it's like he's stitched together. Yeah. What's that? In if you bottom? notice, there's a lot of weird things about him that I want to show off. So every member of Zen has. He doesn't even want to fight you, bro. He just wants you to go away. He wants you to go the fuck away. So every member of Zen has this weird third arm that all members of Zen have. Look at his. It's like. It's stitched onto him. Yeah. It's not natively there. It's been placed there. He also has metal coming out of his bottom or something. Yeah. Or something. Okay, so what's the gimmick? So you gotta blow up the crystals, I think. Um, and then his head will open, and then you shoot his head, and then you get the bad ending. Oh. What? No, in that the ending is just not good. Mm -hmm. There we go. But it can help you to get the other things, so you can go around there. Now I notice that he is uh, levitating. Now are you levitating too, or do you just have no clip on? I, I have no clip on. What you're supposed to do is get to these things. Oops. And then bounce. Oh, yeah. Isn't it so gnarly? That's pretty cool. And then you can get in there. Oh, it's so gross down here. Mm. And there's a Gargantua. Yippee skippy. Ugh, Go, I got, like, Gordon. I got like real fucking shivers right now. Yeah, it's gross. They probably couldn't see that because you have a ring light on and I'm white Whitey. as milk. Another dead one. So yeah, like, it's... They just dumped bitches into this place, you know? Yeah. Like, they were just throwing guy after guy after guy in here. See, so yeah, this is the way you're supposed to... You're supposed to bounce. Bounce. Was SP inspired by the whole Black Mesa thing? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm seeing some connections here. Can I use B to swim up? So. Oh, he's so fucking gross, man. He's grotesque. He is. He's so gnarly. Yeah, this is Nyland. No! Shit, where are you now? Back in the room with a Gargantua. Mm. So yeah, this is what the final boss fight is. What's with this weird halo? Uh, he's uh, in that uh, Beyonce song. Mm. Classic. Uh, yeah. Really her best song of the 2000s. <laughs> I was expecting you to give me more time to think after that. Go, Gordon! Oh, you sure did it. Are you even jumping on it, babe? I think so. Maybe we'll just float. Let me get in there. Uh. Yeah, that's not intended. Is he gone? No. Remember that he shoots us with a little teleport thing to teleport us. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he's, like, praying. Yeah, that's how he summons the little teleport thing. And then we go here. If he prays to get it, does that mean there's a higher power than him? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm getting into some second game shit, right? Oh, definitely. Spoiler pants, Sarah. Sorry. Oh, here it is. There's a button. Do, 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 do. One of the. Oh, come on, man. I love when you do your little. Do, 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 do. It's from a Homestuck video, I think. It's very cute. That ain't intended. Can I get up here, sir? No, do not touch my weird blossom head. Yeah. See, his head is supposed to be like a blossom. Yeah, get it. 
There we go. Good. There we go. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, shit, dog. Oops. Go time! Rose has baby heads taking up the universe. All right, you ready? Yeah. There he is. That's God. Gordon. Turn out my sound. Freeman in the flesh, or rather, in the hazard. See if there's an auto save here. Nope, just here. All right, we back. Oh, sorry. It's autumn. Sorry, we turned it up so you could hear Jimin. Here he is. Gordon Free. Should I turn it up for Sarah now? Do do do. All right, sorry. Freeman in the flesh, or rather, in the hazard suit. I took the liberty of. The border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my uh, employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. Where are we going? You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Time Fight. to choose. That's not canon. What's not canon? Fighting. Why? It's time to choose. Isn't that what Freeman would do? Well, why don't we see? <sighs> okay. Is Freeman going to do one of those things where he's like, well, oh, sure. Looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mr. Freeman. So when he says, uh, fight, you have no chance of winning, boy, does he fucking mean it. See how he just dropped you in a room full of alien soldiers? Oh, I see. All right, everyone, this has been Half-Life. Hold on, hold on. Portal. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Hired. Awaiting assignment. Are you a bad guy? You got hired. What does that mean? What does that mean? So... Okay. What do you think? 
I think I think Freeman's gonna try and be like some type of secret agent or something like that, where he's like he's gonna pretend to play along, but actually it's so he could destroy everything. Interesting. So um, that's what I want out of Freeman. At there's least. Gabe. So to catch you up to Half Life, okay. in as of two, we know that there's a alien race called the Combine. I do so love it when you touch my hair. Um, there's an alien race called the Combine, mm-hmm. right? They take over everything, mm-hmm. which is likely what the Nihilinth is fighting. So when he's trying to tell Gordon to back off, when he says, I'm the last, mm-hmm. when he says, you are not alone, he's trying to say that Freeman is not the only combatant force. Mm-hmm. Which is, of course, true. Okay. Uh, we're done with half life, by the way. So we can go back to Freeman phase. Sure. Or we can just make this bigger. Or we can make us bigger. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. Hello. We're here. Um. So oh, you can see my snake eater poster next. Ah, uh, that's, that's cool. Fine. No, yeah, I love that fucking poster. It's my favorite of them. You should go, well, my man. You can see my dark inner eye circles. Yes. See my blotchy skin. No, you're beautiful. Yeah, I'm beautiful. So are you, though. More so. Thank you. Anyway. Yes. Half-Life. Yes. So we know for a fact that the Nihilinth is, in fact, running from the Combine. Okay. Call it... Com... The Combine? Concubine? How are you... Concubine. Say it again. Combine. Combine. Okay. (laughs) It's a normal English word. I've never heard of that word. Combine? Yeah. What does that word mean? Well, I'll give you this one. It's spelled identical to combine. Ah. Okay. So the combine. Yes. Big bads. Big, big bads. Okay. And they are taking over Zen, the border world. Okay. Border world. Which is where we just were and where the Nihilinth was chilling. Okay. But the Nihilith was kind of bad, too, because he was enslaving people. Yes, to fight the Combine. Oh, okay. So is that bad? Is that good? Uh, it's still kind of bad. I mean, it's probably still kind of bad, because like, people should be able to choose whether they want to help or not. Look, when it's something like that, I'll tell you this one as well. Combine's real big on slaving. Um, so yeah, we're caught in like a five-way here. We've got the Nihilinth and the Zen guys. We've got the Combine, who is running from the Nihilinth. We've got Black Mesa, who pissed off the Nihilinth. And the Nihilinth tried to get ahead of the game by getting Black Mesa's tech, but it didn't work out. We've got the United States government, who's just trying to stop the aliens and Black Mesa. The Combine is going to roll over Earth's government anyway. And then we've got G-Man. So you've been hired by the Combine. No. You've been hired by G-Man's employers. And G-Man is? We don't know. Yet? Half-Life 1 came out in 98. Half-Life 2 came out in 2004. Mm -hmm. And the third Half-Life game came out in 2018. Okay. So... Saying yet in context to Half Life makes me want to tie a noose. Okay, so do it's we know? Do we know? Track. Do we know who G Man is though? Of three, as of three. Um. Do we hear any more about Freeman? Yeah. Okay. Um. So is Freeman good? Freeman's good. Uh, and you're playing too, so you're gonna get closer seat to the action. Mm. Um. And I will say, uh, something kind of funny between Half-Life 1 and 2, Half-Life 2 starts kind of in exactly the same place Half-Life 1 does. <laughs> now, granted, there's a 20-year time skip, but only in-universe because Freeman is not inside time. But do we find out who G-Man is? Not really. Really? So, what do we assume he is? Another hu- another alien race? You know more about him. The thing is, based on his 
tones, the way that he doesn't speak English natively. And in other dubs, he doesn't speak that language natively either as well. I mean, yeah, he sounds like... He sounds like a robot trying to pretend to be human. Mm -hmm. So he might be an organic robot. He might be like an alien mimicking a human. He might be a human who has been hired, Mm -hmm. like we were. Um... So at the end of Half-Life 1, we get a little splash screen that says, Freeman, hired. Mm -hmm. Worth it. Pick him up. Get him on the team, boys. In the expansions, Adrian Shepard, the soldier you play as in Opposing Force, Mm -hmm. um, is not hired, but is put into stasis because G-Man says he's interesting. Mm -hmm. Barney escapes Black Mesa with a bunch of scientists and his um, post-event documentation reads subject escaped observation area or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I think something similar happens to Gina Cross and the other one. So, yeah, Jimin's hiring guys. Mm. I don't like that. And what's more, Jimin... This is a really cool thing. Uh, it happens in Adventure Time as well. Prismo is set up to be like this ultimate super god, super being. And then Prismo offhandedly makes a reference about how his boss isn't going to like something. Like, yeah. you have a, you're God. You have a boss? You, someone fills out your pay stuff? You're God, though. And G-Man, who has been warping all over the fucking facility, has employers, multiples. Mm-hmm. Um... And they have interest in Freeman. So it's not clear if Freeman can load and save because of the G-Man. Because G-Man does have some sort of dominion over time. Or maybe Freeman can load and save because he's Gordon Freeman. And he was impacted by an experiment or something in the past. And that quality is what makes people interested in him in the first place. Do you want me to scoot this down? Sure. People can see your nice chair. Oh, yeah, I got a nice chair. Um, and look, the handles. Okay, they can't see the handles, but. The, the, the handles. Oh, there, there you go. go. Yeah. They swivel for maneuverability. Mm-hmm. Yours don't swivel, but yours is probably comfier. Yeah, I don't know. You have a pretty bitchin' chair. Cats certainly like it. Yeah. Um, I think they might like it because it's black and not leather and they can get more hair on it. Yeah. It's efficient. Anyway, um, any questions? Do I get a cool new suit because I was hired? They were actually thinking about that. The new suit in Half-Life 2 does get an upgrade. But they were thinking about making it way, way different. Like, they were thinking about making it out of leather. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, the powered armor out of the leather. Mm. Yeah, it was going to be like a weird sex thing. It was going to be like um, like the Dune still suits or like uh, the shit that Clive Barker likes. Sure. Um, which is uh, not the move. I'm, yeah. I'm going to come run right out in front of that and say. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So Half-Life 1, obviously. A lot better graphics. Way, way less bugs. Way, way better story. Um, 2004? 2004. Good year. Great year. Great year for shooters specifically. You had fucking RE4, Half-Life 2, Halo 2. I'm counting on my hands, but you actually can't see. Uh, Halo 2. Um, did they say RE4? Metroid Prime. Just bam, bam, bam. Knock them all out. So good. Solid. You want to go eat cookies? I do. We, uh, it's autumn now, so we put on one of the candles that my mom likes from Bath and Body Works. Um, it smells so autumn-y in here. It's like... So nice. Like, what is it? Pumpkin cinnamon bun? Yeah. Fuck yeah. My mom puts those on every, every year at the start of fall, and it's how I know that fall has started. I, I love... Because I would never really pick sweet scents to pick candles for, because I'm not a big sweet scent person. I like more like the... Mahogany, sandalwood, musk, you yeah. know? And you you smell those when we go to Bath and Body Works, and you're like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you give me the sweet thing, and I'm like, mm-hmm. But, yeah. like, it actually is pretty good when it's, when it's burning. Yeah. 
So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you a picture of Gordon Freeman in Half-Life 2. He's a good-looking guy. A lot better. I am also going to put it into my computer so that I can put it up for everyone to see. Dun, ba, da, dun. Can drag that to the top. There we go. There it is. This is what we're looking at. So you can see that Gordon... He's the Let's Player. So, um, his eyes look a lot better. See his hair. And you can see it's been very, very recently cut. Mm. Implying that, yes, he did just cut the ponytail. I'm, Can you imagine? I'm, I'm coming back on that so often. Yeah, like, imagine, like, you become famous with, like, not your normal hairstyle. Yeah. Like, you got gum in your hair, and you had to, like, shave part of your head, and then you get famous, like, the next day, and it's like, I don't look like this, though. No. Think about all the fucking articles that got written just because Billie Eilish put some new shit in her hair, you know? Mm. Like, you can't do that. And it's a shave, too. Like, Dolly Parton... Dolly Parton hasn't had blonde hair in years. I don't know if she ever has. It's been a wig every time. Yeah. When she's done performing, she takes the fucking wig off and goes to her normal day-to-day -day life. I mean, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. No, it's not a wig. It's true. I'll pull all her hair. Real hair. It's true. Mine, too. Um... Poor guy. No fake hair can be as frizzy as this. <laughs> Cut his fucking ponytail. And then the apocalypse started. I want the real... Po yeah, you know what? That's what caused the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> the gods did not like that one. Oh, Bro, that... you cut the ponytail? He is a sellout. He cut it for, for the combine, but then G-Man's employers were like, we gotta, we gotta get this guy. He's too cool. We gotta make him grow his ponytail <laughs> Oh, Lord. So, yeah. Um, That's how I feel when you grow your hair out. It gives you too much power. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's a weird, like, five or maybe even six-way, like, fight going on in Half-Life 1. And you're really only privy to a part of it. Because at first you're like, oh, I'm fighting aliens. And then the military gets in and I'm fighting them, too. But then the military does fight the aliens. And then it turns out that not all of the aliens are on the same side, among other things. So I will say, um, if you notice, the Nihilith is wearing the same kind of bracers as the Vortigaunts. Mm -hmm. um, and that might be an implication that he's wearing like the master bracelets mm -hmm. as opposed to the slave ones. Mm -hmm. So by killing him, we have technically freed the Vortigaunts. Nice. Um... I always wanted to do that. So if I was doing this realistically, we would... I'm going to turn this down. It's blowing me out a little bit. We would um, come back and play Half-Life 2 after about six years of waiting. How old will we be? Six. No, how old will we be? Will we be? 29. 29. <gasps> Get it in right before the 30s. Before we settle down. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I've never settled down in my entire life. Yeah. So am I wandering out. I stay unsettled. But anyway, um, you probably feel a sort of sense of calm knowing that there is another game ahead of this. But everyone else. But everyone else. And like, I'm not even included in this because I got to this late. I had to wait for the other games to have not an ending so I could get mad. And you'll get there too. And they still haven't made an ending. So you'll be just as mad. Maybe not as mad. Less mad, probably. Yeah. Because, like, people who played it on the day that it fucking came out and were like, oh, that's it? We're not, okay. You know, big fucking problem. But, as I say, um, like, Half-Life 2 has a crazy, weird, fucked up, ambiguous ending. And then three years pass, right? Right. We've had the Gearbox games, and Adrian Shepard is cool. And Barney's okay. And Gina's whatever. And there's the other ones. But where the fuck is Gordon, though? So three years pass. Mm -hmm. And then there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little hint that maybe Half-Life 2 might come out. Mm -hmm. And people lose their fucking minds as they should. 
And then another year passes. Oh, no. Turn of the fucking millennium, turn of the century, turn of the decade. That's all happened now. It's in the past, in fact. Other new cool games, like Halo, are shooting everyone's dick off. Like, oh my god, Call of Duty. Who would ever want to play Half-Life now? And people are worried Half-Life just might not come out in the new modern day of shooters. That makes me so sad. Yeah. And then What's an- a game you're worried about not coming out right now? Half-Life 3. Fair enough. Elden Ring. Elden Ring's gonna come. We were really worried for a while. Um, I'm worried about not getting a new Castlevania. I'm maybe worried about... What's Platinum working on? I feel like I'm waiting on something from Platinum. Anyway, another year passes. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we get an actual trailer, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, holy shit. Half-Life 2 might actually come out. And then a hacker gets a hold of the demo and releases it on the internet. And holy shit, does he get put to fucking prison? Wait, really? Yes. That's like bad. That's like real bad. There was a whole sting operation involved about it. Is he still there? I don't think so, but he stole a shitload of... I don't imagine he would go to prison very long for that. Yeah, I don't know how he got it, but I'm led to believe that he broke into the offices. Um, it's kind of rude. He also could have just been using some corporate espionage. He's the hero we didn't know we needed. Anyway, Valve sees that demo go up, and people play it, and they're like, wow, this sucks. And they say, oh. you're right. And then Half-Life goes away. Eventually, later, like a year later, real trailer, real Half-Life 2 trailer, it things don't look like they did in that first demo or that first presentation or in the original stuff. Mm-hmm. New shit, new Half Life two, and then that's what comes out. And then people were like Valve, please don't make us wait another six years for the sequel. And then they did it. And then, well, they had an idea. They were like, well, back in the day, expansions used to just be like more more of the game. Now we're gonna make it more of the story. So instead of waiting. You know, another nine years for Half-Life 3 to come out. Mm -hmm. We're going to make Half-Life 2 Episode 1. And that came out a year later. Mm -hmm. And then a year later, Half-Life 2 Episode 2 is supposed to come out. Mm -hmm. So two years later, Half-Life 2 Episode 2 came out. Along with Portal. Which, as we've talked about, is in the same universe. Uh, and then Half-Life 2 Episode 2 had one of the biggest, darkest, most crazy fucking endings uh, of any game, really. And then uh, didn't get a sequel. And that was in 2007. In 2011, Portal 2 came out. So we got more stuff, but much like with the original Half-Life expansions. Where's Gordon, though? Where the fuck is Gordon, though? All we care about is Gordon. Mm-hmm. So then 11 years pass. Yeah, really. Um, I showed you the, like, artifact reveal where Valve is like, all right, guys, we're making a card game. And, like, the audience is like, ah! The audience makes this fucking sound of anguish. Look up the fucking Valve artifact reveal live reaction if you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. It is astound. Like, everyone's waiting for Valve to make anything. Like, fucking update Team Fortress 2 for the first time in years. Uh, Fucking... Make a new Half-Life, make a new Portal, make a new anything. And, like, even a new IP. Fuck, do something, Valve. And they're like, don't worry, guys, because Hearthstone made a lot of money and we want to get in on it. We want to rip off Hearthstone, so we will. And then they ripped off Hearthstone. And then the fucking audience reaction is such a sound of anguish. Holy shit. Like, I'm surprised the man didn't get booed off stage. Yeah, did he, like, comment on that? <laughs> like, what do you do when you're, like, almost booed off fucking stage? I, I think I think you start loading the gun. Yeah, that's what I would do. Go do one off the stump. Um. Anyway, a couple years later, eventually Valve was like, ooh, VR's cool, and every new Half-Life we've always done new cool stuff. Let's make a Half-Life game. And they did. And Half-Life Alex is a prequel to Half-Life 2. Mm. takes place in between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2. Is it any good? Oh, it's great. It's fantastic. It's astounding, and it breaks new ground. And there really isn't another VR game like it, and everyone should give it a shot. 
Really? Oh, absolutely. Okay, I thought I, you were being sarcastic. No, no, I'm not trolling here. It's it's uh, a revolution, just like every other Half-Life game is. Why aren't we playing it? I don't have a VR headset right now. All right. Time to hit up Katie. Time to. Um, however, does not move the story forward. There are some things, there's some implications that I cannot talk about here, people in the comments, who are going to say, well, I'm actually, because holy shit, Half-Life newbie. That's me. That's her. She doesn't know anything about Half-Life, besides, uh, well, we just beat the game. That was really fun. It was fun. I'm glad I did it with you. I'm excited for you to play Half-Life 2. I'm very excited. If, and I'm really good at video games. It's true. She's great. Uh, it actually has the same art director as Dishonored 1. Oh, right on. Um, so you'll see the same, like, authentic, hollow, like, diesel and fucked up, polluted, shitty world. Um. I feel like I need to be doing some of my hands. I'm doing, like, nervous preening. Yeah. But yeah, um, and that's where Half-Life sits right now. The very ambiguous ending of Half-Life 2 Episode 2. And, um, Half-Life Alex. I have talked about Half-Life, or it's just called Episode 3, um, but I will not talk about it now because it's not official Half-Life shit, so I don't actually need to talk about it. I will say there are a lot of plans for Half-Life 3. They, some of them got as far as the scripting stage, and some even made it into a sort of um, game. But as it happens, uh, not playable, and they never came out. I'm being sleepy. Stop it. We have to have our cookie date. Okay. Um, yeah, Half-Life 2, Episode 3, never came out. Go on. <laughs> She's getting water. Um, can I have some? And as it happens, there are actually plans for Half-Life 2, Episode 4. Are you trying to get to the 40-minute mark? <sighs> oh, I'm not trying. I'll do it. So Half-Life 2 Episode 4 was being developed by Arcane, mm -hmm. who made Dishonored. Mm -hmm. So is Dishonored made out of the remnants of Half-Life 2 Episode 4? It has the same art director. Maybe they got him when they changed project hands, you know? But um, there were also plans for Half-Life 3. There were plans to bring back Adrian... And there are, I want to I want to say this first. Uh, there are a few games that you can actually get a hold of on Steam that are fan made games, but they were officially released through Steam, and they allegedly take place in the Half Life universe. I don't know if we'll play those because some of their quality is dubious, but we will play one. We will play Hunt Down the Freeman. Uh, and Sarah has no idea what that means. I do not. Um, and I assure you, everyone else is tugging their collars and going, Ooh. So I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun playing Half-Life and shooting the shit about Valve. What about you? I had a lot of fun too. Um, we're going to go either like, I might show you a video on the Half-Life 1 story because it's like so fucking obfuscated. Or we might go watch VTubers and eat cookies. It's autumn now, so we're having a good time. Remember last year? Autumn's now my favorite season. It's always been my favorite season. It's tied for uh, the top slot, in fact. We get to share it together. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, I've been Alfred. And with an extreme finality, this has been Half-Life 1. And I've been Sarah. Mm -hmm. Bye. You ready for Half-Life 2? Yes. All right. You know, I want to put a date on it. It'll be a secret. Soon. Bye. Bye.